Okay, Merry Christmas again. Not Merry Christmas. Okay. Um. I used to celebrate Christmas and put up trees and lights and all that until for well, a long time. Um, and you know it's always better when you got when you got kids. And, uh, and I enjoy that because I enjoy playing with their toys almost as much as they do. But um, I'm our, our Christmas tree. It would. Dad, you always got a real one. And if I seem to remember, it would be almost Christmas Eve or Christmas Eve when he would get it. And he would get a real big one because we had high ceilings. We had a high ceiling. And he would put it in in front of the, the sun porch. Now, our, our sun porch, you didn't have to go outside to get to the sun porch. Um, our sun porch, you know, you open... Uh, French doors, they had French doors, and they just stepped into the living room. So we had big French doors and you stepped into the living room. And we always got a tall tree. And then we would decorate it that night. We all decorated that night. And I remember in the morning, you know, we'd have our gifts, but then there would always be like a small gift or some small gifts and um, on the tree, you know. They, they, he would put it in the, up on, on, the, on the branches of the tree. And then we all had like, you know, our own, they fixed our own box with our fruit in it and the candy. You know, that way nobody can complain. Because there was four of us at one time, then there were six of us. But um, it, everybody who put theirs in separate boxes, so we each had your own. So I remember it being like that. And so you know, when Christmas comes, I would decorate the the windows because we, we were living in an apartment then in Connecticut. Um, the big tree thing, that was when I was, you know, I was little, because I grew up in Buffalo. And then from Buffalo, we moved south, but we weren't down there very long. And then we moved back to New York. So, um, so that's where I, you know, I remember all that from. But, um, when we were up here, I think Anthony was maybe 12, 13 years old. And <clears throat> he called me and told me to come downstairs. And I thought something was wrong with, with, the, with his scooter. And I got downstairs. And there he stood with a, well, not, well, you know, he was in the his scooter with a, a little Christmas tree and it had all the lights and stuff on it and he was telling me how he almost got hit bringing it across the, the, the street because it wasn't in the box it was the last one they had and it was display and he got him to take the display down and sell it to him with all the lights and things on it and then um he, he put it on the front of his, his scooter, holding it and driving home and driving home at the same time. So I saw that, and you know, I just welled up with tears it, because that was just so sweet. And then the fact that you know he had he carried it back across the street already with the lights and stuff on it, and <clears throat> I still have that tree. I put it up, and I have not taken it down since. You know, so that was that that was good. Um, but no, we don't do too much Christmas now because he's older and 
And, you know, he, he's going into a lot of things, you know, that he doesn't do or he doesn't celebrate. You know, so we don't make a big deal out of Christmas. I wish we had some babies around so we did. Okay, so I'm going to stop here and I'm take off my, my tank because I want to go check the mail. And so, in order to check it, I have to take off my tank. And I think I'll walk around there. Well, I don't really want to walk. I'm going to just climb through here, which I think I'll do. So, you wait right here for a second. Because uh, i got to take this. Probably not gonna venture. I'm gonna have to call the people and tell them they're good. Okay, but I'm about to be out now. So, this is Ed so Wishing you and yours a merry Christmas, a happy holiday, and a happy new year. Alright, I'm about. Bye.